A community came together to help more than 50 people displaced after a Christmas Eve fire destroyed an apartment building in Spartanburg. Now the Spartanburg Fire Department, they're saying that fire was intentionally set. Our Georgery Godfrey joining us live from the Crown Point Apartments. And Georgery, why is the fire department ruling this an intentional fire? Well, I actually spoke to the department's deputy fire marshal this afternoon who said both the police department and fire department conducted interviews with residents and neighbors at the shelter and police department yesterday. And based on that information, it was determined that the fire was set on purpose. Now, 17 units were destroyed by this fire. The fire, the fire department says at least half of the building is a total loss. Since yesterday morning, the property managers have been working to remove water out of the apartments that are still livable. A total of seven 17 families and 19 children are without a place to call home tonight. But several organizations worked through the holiday just to bring a little cheer to the families left picking up the pieces. First of all, with the request for donations, we had a request go out about 9 o'clock in the morning asking for individuals who could assist or who would be willing to adopt um, in the children who were affected by the fire. And I believe that brought a response of 20 to 30 individuals and it snowballed out from there. Now the Department of Social Services, Woodruff Community Center donated items as well as the city of Inman, which actually gave toys to the children who had to spend the day away from home. The deputy fire marshal says they have narrowed down the start of the fire to an outside breezeway, but are still figuring out how exactly it started. In Spartanburg, Georgia Godfrey, 7 News. Now, Georgia, Reed, we just wanted to know um, a lot of those people affected, of course, the day before Christmas. What else um, is the community doing for the families, not just the children, but the families as a whole? Well, there are some GoFundMe pages set up for some of the actual individual residents to start to collect some of that money to try to replace those items that they lost in the fire. Now, those organizations that I mentioned, and in addition to donating toys and baby supplies, and they gave out clothes, some food stipends, and things to kind of help those residents have a sense of normalcy after coming out of something like this. Tough situation. Thanks a lot for your live report. Well, the Red Cross, as she mentioned, is helping more families whose homes were damaged in fires. One in Simpsonville, where a house on West Curtis Street was damaged by flames early this morning. The other blaze happened on Grant Road in Westminster. The Red Cross says every year they see an uptick in fires during the holiday season. New details at 5. Gavney police are investigating.